Before Augustine became the great Saint Augustine, who's considered one of the greatest philosophers ever to live, he adhered to a weird heresy called Manichaeism that preached some weird doctrine that everything that was matter was evil, so life had to be done away with. And, uh, you know, there was two different gods, a good god and a bad god, and it was, a, it was really a mess. And in fact, once Augustine was asked, why could you have, how could you have adhered or believed in such a, such a thing? And he simply said, well, it's because it allowed me to be a free thinker without any religion. Well, he changed that later on. Part of that process of conversion from being a pagan to becoming a Catholic occurred in his discussions with St. Ambrose, Bishop of Milan. Augustine really liked St. Ambrose. He was intelligent, he was sharp, he was deep, he could hold his own in a discussion, in an argument, in a debate. And this really intrigued Augustine. And so they would meet often. And they would talk about all sorts of things. Philosophy, theology, metaphysics, deep, incredible discussions. And every time, St. Ambrose had an answer for a complicated question, could shed light on a really intriguing issue, a really philosophical question was something that Ambrose always had something to say, an answer, and profound insight. Well, Augustine was amazed and continued be, being amazed. And so he started to ask St. Ambrose, where do you study? Where do you learn all this? St. Ambrose simply said, one day I'll show you. Next time they met, Augustine had another deep and profound, complicated question. And Ambrose very kindly and eloquently spoke about it and showed him the way and gave him an answer and guided him and instructed him. And Augustine was just, oh my goodness. And again, he would ask, where did you study? What library do you go to to learn all of this? St. Ambrose said, one day I'll show you. And this went on time after time until finally one day St. Augustine said, or Augustine at this point, where did you learn this? What books do you read? Where did you study? I need to know. And finally St. Ambrose said, come with me. And so they walked through the hallways of the Episcopal Palace in Milan until finally Ambrose opened a door and walked in to his office. Augustine walked in and looked all around expecting to see the most amazing library. And yes, there were a few books on the shelves and on his desk there were a few books. And there were his writing implements, and chair and decoration and etc. And then St. Ambrose turned to Augustine, pointing to the crucifix of our Lord Jesus Christ on his desk and said, This is my library. If you have enjoyed this story, take advantage and click the subscribe button below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel the Catholic Storyteller by Passionate Catholic, so you don't miss out on any of the great stories here at Passionate Catholic. Now, if you're a person who's looking to make, to make the next step in your spiritual life, if you want to grow in your union with our Lord Jesus Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary, if you're a Catholic who wants to step onto the path toward holiness, visit us at passionatecatholic.net and take the next step toward becoming a passionate Catholic. Until our next story, Jesus and Mary, get us there.